ready. You, Ali G, have been found guilty of the charges of graffiti and dealing and boning too hard <laughs> and being the baddest gangster that Staines has ever seen. I, by the power invested in me by the state of Berkshire, <laughs> sentence you to death by five billion volts of the electric. Pull the switch! Oh, your electricity is done. It's given me more power to do. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> I'm going to dedicate this show to all the people on death row in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Me has read your letters and whatever you has done, you don't deserve to fry. <laughs> because, I and mean, I don't want to scare people out there, but electricity ain't just used to power windmills. <laughs> it is also used to fry innocent gangsters. <laughs> so I is making a plea now to President Blair's. <laughs> Please stop elocution in this country. <laughs> There's a long history of injustice in this country. The Birmingham Six, the Guildford Six. <laughs> and me myself was a member of the Stain Seven. <laughs> Who was all made to do gym in our pants for walking on the all weather pitch <laughs> with non-regulation trainers. <laughs> and I would do it again tomorrow. You will never crush the Stain Seven. <laughs> Anyways, in my quest for justice, we got to fly out to the USA. And they even let me go economy class. <laughs> so check this. Peace. Over 15 murders happen in the US every second. That is a well scary percentage. And when the coppers can't handle it, they're calling this special branch called the FB. I. Ali in the FB, Ali in the FB, go! Ali in the FB, Ali in the FB, go! So what actually is the FB? The FBI is the, I. the, the FBI <laughs> Federal Bureau of Investigation. It's about 80 years old. It was created in the early part of this century. What is integration? Interrogation really means questioning a suspect. When I need to find some info from, like, little Rick or whatever, take his head, put it down, and, excuse me French, I do a guff on his head, and then he will speak. Do you think yeah. that you could use something like that? No, we, you know, we... When we're trying to interrogate a suspect, we use a certain amount of psychological uh, pressure. But if that failed, would you not consider guffing on someone's head? <laughs> no. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It does, I see. But it doesn't happen nearly as often as the movies would make you think. I might suspect that you're engaging in criminal activity. And you're using... How would you know? Well, say, some, one of my informants tells me. They tell me, you what, know... From the... from Berkshire Police? <laughs> you know, or someone on the street All that right. I know tells me that they think that you're selling drugs out of your apartment, out of your flat. That ain't true. No, but if one of your friends tells me that you're selling drugs... Who? No, just for, for example, if one of your friends tells me that you're selling drugs, and then another one... Dave? And then, a, and then another one of your friends tells me that you're selling drugs, then we can take that information and go to a judge and say, we have reason to believe that Ali is selling drugs... I ain't... No. I ain't... No. No. Who's been grassing me up? So... Do you do stuff with the Mafia? Yeah, the, we, we uh, organized crime, we refer to it as. One of the more day-to-day uh, -day kinds of crimes that the uh, Mafia is, is famous for 
is uh, stealing uh, shipments of merchandise. For real. So if you, if, if, if you and I hijack a truck I... fu full of uh, Tommy Hilfinger sportswear, I... if you and I steal that merchandise and sell it on the street, why is he talking about this on camera? <laughs> you know where it's being filmed. Oh, no, no, sure. But I mean, it happens all the time. I... It, this kind of thing goes on all the time. I mean, you and I make $25,000 a piece. Do you want to talk about this after? Or is there... No, I'm just using this as an example. Ah, all right. Okay. Just using it to, to make a point. OK, so what is third degree murder? If I come walking into my house and I find you there, um, in bed with my wife. That ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> that ain't I swear to you no. today. I mean, I don't know what your right. wife looked no, like no, or whatever, no, no, no. but I, ain't, I swear, no. I would never do that to you. Even, Again, if, even if you was my worst enemy or whatever, I would never Hi, do hy that. Hypothetical. I'm so angry when I see this that I take my gun out and I shoot you and then I shoot my wife. Well, I'll shoot you first. Yeah, right. No, <laughs> you don't have a chance because I'm faster than you are. For real, I was right. busy right. boning in your and mixes. I have a gun and you don't. Right. So, so that's murder. I have no legal right to murder you because you're in bed Just because his it. eye is slipping one in. Check this. We are now in a place called Ogan's Alley, which is part of the FBI training thing, isn't it? Yep. This is the FBI Academy's right. training complex. It was opened in 1987. The instructors in Hogan's Alley will teach you how so to how would we go the in door. Here? It's the FBI. Like no, you can't kick, you can't kick the door. You must come in. Once again, you are an employee this of the FBI, like but that's in the movies. So let's say I get someone here and I have to get down there. And then I still got enough on. And then. And then it's a bulk. It's a bulk in here. Comes from here it's a, you in it's the a back. bulk. <laughs> this is not a real person. I'll just punch him in the face. See what you're looking at. What are you looking at? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Take that look off your face. <laughs> what is your job? Uh, I'm the assistant director in charge of all the criminal investigations of the FBI. Um, I know you ain't supposed to talk about it, but everyone out there wants to know about it. What is Studio 54? That's a, uh, a nightclub in uh, New York City. For real, but what's in the basement? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you... Uh... You know what I was talking about, that like long bodies, massive eyes, tiny <laughs> nose, you know, uh, dong done in a knot, you know, big long fingers. Uh, is this something from the X-Files? Dong, 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 dong. <laughs> Do you ever get calls in about aliens and all that kind of thing? Yeah, I've never gotten one. Because me mate Ricky C, he was coming back from the staying station and he was going past the Elmsley Centre and he suddenly felt this thing grab him and, excuse me French, go up his exit hole. <laughs> and the next day he found himself in this trolley at the back, you know, near the buses. How do you explain that? I don't, I, I, I don't know anything about it, I'm sorry. Young people out there, if they mm. want to join the FB, right. what should they do? They, they should stay away from drugs, they should go to college, <laughs> and they should uh, study hard. And if they got none of those for years, they got a chance? They don't have much of a chance. Selector. <laughs> this week on the Wheels of Steel, doing a version excursion, mixing and mashing it up, Steve the Force, aka DJ Manslaughter. Recognize. Is now. Is now. Oh, you yeah, go on with them talks, star. You yeah, go on like a idiot, man. Fix up, no man. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you rascal. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> now, our guest tonight is an Egyptian man who I got on because I even pay you 20 grand and put you up in the Ritz every time you ask a question. So look like this could be a nice little earner. <laughs> Big it up for Mohammed Al Fayed. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Please sit down, sit down. 
Nice. <laughs> so tell me, Alf, yeah. how much is your worth? Last year, my tax contribution was 118 million. I bet you is so rich, you always supersize your Burger King, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I awesome. bet you always go large, even if you ain't that hungry, you know? <laughs> you just say, whatever, 40p, whatever, you know, yeah, give it to me. Right. That's all right. <laughs> is you rich enough, Mohammed, that yeah. you have someone to clean your balls? <laughs> it's possible. It's possible? Yeah. Because I know me need an old workforce to clean mine. <laughs> Because they is dirty, that's because they, they is so big. I will send you my own cleaner. <laughs> For real? Yeah. <laughs> and they have a special hoovers. <laughs> Where we suck the balls off. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just have a bath, actually. <laughs> I don't know whether you know this, but Neil Hamilton came on this show, yeah. and because I like you, I want to tell you what he said. Yeah. He said he saw you wearing knickers and a bra and singing, la, 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 I wish I was a girl. <laughs> He's the one doing that, not me. He's very famous for that. Really? Yeah. Well known, yeah. So what would you say if you saw him now? Nothing. For me, he is nothing. Well, please welcome on Neil Hamilton! <laughs> You sussed. <laughs> you thought he was coming out. Is it okay? No problem. You, you thought he was coming out. I didn't saw you? him in the court for five weeks. It's no yeah. problem. <laughs> is it true you is after a British passport? Not really very important, you know. So how come you ain't got one of these passports? Because the bloody politician have no conscience, have no dignity, have no honor, right? Yeah. Don't understand. You have to fight. That's it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I tell you what. Yeah. Because I like you more, Thank I'll you. put you in touch with my mate Dave. He can get his hands on loads of passports. <laughs> this one is 70 squid. Yeah, yeah. 70 quid. This one is 30 squid because you have to pretend to be a Bangladeshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take this one. This is going to cost you. How mate. much? 50 pounds? Yeah, for real. Okay, 50. <laughs> cost me now. 100 pounds to come in. You can come on every week. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Mo, what ways has you thought of improving Arabs? It's now the ultimate place in the world. You don't know that. It's already been improved. Has you ever thought of selling everything for a pound? Because <laughs> it is a very good way to get customers in. <laughs> There's a shop in Egham that does that, and it's always full. <laughs> Maybe next sale I will do that. Do you, do you shop at your own store? Only after hours. Can I give us. you a tip? Yeah. Try Argos. Same thing, quote of the price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, big it up for more. Yeah. Now, drugs ain't just a four-letter word. They is out there on the street and something we all need to know about. That is why I spoke to Professor John Henry from the National Poisons Information Service about the dangers of drugs. Flavor. On your mark, you set, go, it's time to roll. I give a head start and make it first, even if I stroll, the load explode. Word up. <laughs> we is going to be talking about the drug thing. Let's start from over here. I mean, that's Moroccan black, isn't it? Yeah. You have to be a double <laughs> if you didn't know that. How much would this cost you on the street? About 60, 70 pounds. Aye, but you'd probably be getting ripped off if you had to pay that much. Yeah. I mean, you can get it cheaper than that. OK. So what is the names for it? I mean, we all know it's called the bionic, the bomb, the puff, yeah. the black, the herb, the sensi, the chronic. Yeah. The sweet Mary Jane, the shit, the bomb, the ganja, the reefer, the bad, the Buddha, the homegrown, the ill, the Maui Maui, the method, the pot, the shake, the stunt, the stress, the tie, the wacky. But is there any other terms that parents should be aware of? Puff, blow, lots of, lots of names, draw. And what is its effects? 
uh, you can go paranoid, which means you think people or things are coming at you. Aye. Um, it makes your heart race. Uh, your blood pressure can go low, so you can feel a bit woozy sometimes. It's got a, a lot of medical effects on the body. And is there any negative effects? <laughs> no, those are negative effects. But uh, long term, there are negative effects. So if you wanted to get started, would you recommend this as a good first smoke? I wouldn't recommend it, no. So, so far, this stuff is all legal. No, uh, no it's not. What, these things? No, but if you has got it in your home, then that is cool, isn't it? No. It's, it's, it's all illegal. It's all against the law. But if you was using it for personal use or whatever, you was... It is legal if you've got, like, half a kilo or something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't like to try that on. All right. What if it's your religion? Then you have to convince the court it's your religion. But let's say someone don't look like a raster, but they's got a couple of Bob Marley records <laughs> and has got one of those hats with dreads attached or whatever. Yeah. Do you think that that would get them off in a court? Don't think so. All right. Right. And which drugs is Class A? Class A drugs are the, well, mainly the, the heroin and cocaine type of drugs. Does Class A absolutely guarantee that there is better quality? <laughs> no, nothing to do with quality. You can have total crap. OK. So what is these? Um, chemical name is 3,4-methylenedioxymethamphetamine, which is why a lot of people call it ecstasy. Ain't the most worrying thing about these, though, that it actually make you enjoy house music? <laughs> yeah, you enjoy music, yeah. Is there a chemical inside it that actually make you dance like a bellend? Yeah, you, it makes you dance. What is it, that chemical called? Well, it's, it is, it's, it's the ecstasy, it's the actual chemical itself. How many E's can you take in one night and still be safe, if, it, if you have to do it? Uh, some people can take um, two or three E's and no problems. Because I has never ever taken any drugs and you can test me piss. But <laughs> I've got a mate called Dangerous Dave and I ain't going to say his family name, obviously. But he say that he has taken 22 E's in one night. Did he have a headache? Did he feel...? Well, he said he was like, you know, he found it difficult to get to sleep. Yeah. But the next day he was really buzzing and actually the people on the Egham to Rice Slip bus said that he drove it better than he ever done before. <laughs> so do you think it can actually help him? It wouldn't help you to drive a bus. Do you think it's ever right to give animals an E? Well, if you want to know more about a substance, I'd rather you gave it to... Uh, a Your rabbit pet. or a rat, rather than uh, taking it yourself and testing it on yourself. For real, what if they look sad? Do you think it's right to give your animal a knee then? <laughs> I don't think it would help. Because we met Jesse F once fed one to his dog and it went mental and started barking and then tried to bone the cat. <laughs> Is that kind of thing possible? It's quite possible, yeah. Don't forget, uh, one tablet is a lot for a dog. For real. Which is the type of acid that actually make you fly? No acid makes you fly. But in Acid the... can make you think you fly. But in day one, cos my mate Dave said he took this type and he flew all around the room and then his mum told him to get some ciggies from the shop and he actually flew there down at the night you know, mm -hmm. in the buses yep. and flew back and was back in, like, five seconds or whatever <laughs> that he'd forgotten to buy the ciggies. <laughs> I mean, that's the answer, isn't it? You, you think things are happening to you. You, you may think you can fly, um, but your feet are still on the ground. They never leave the ground. And if you're not careful, you might trip up and hurt yourself. <laughs> so, with the old thing here, what is the lesson, the real lesson that people out there need to know? Substances, chemicals, drugs, affect the way your body works. For real. Your body is beautifully constructed. Thank you. It works very, very well. If you take any of these things, you run a big risk of making it work not so well. Aye.
Now it's time for Bora, the Kazakhstani journalist who has come over to learn about British customs. You should have just asked me, mate Dave. <laughs> Him spent three days there with their hands up his butty on his way back from Morocco last year. <laughs> Check it. <laughs> Every Englishman must have a hobby. Some like to collect the stamp, some like to make the jam, but the most fun is to kill a little animal with a shotgun or rip him up with a wild dog. <laughs> this is why I come to the countryside to find out about English hobbies. Thank you. Hello, you are here on a hunt? Yes, yes I am indeed. And you are? Do, why, why do you not have a horse? I can't afford one, quite honestly. Why not? I, <clears throat> I'm retired now and... Um, you are retired? Yes, I'm retired. Yes, like a mongoloid? So you hunt a lot? I hunt a lot, yes. You are a real man? Oh, uh, yes, I am, yes. We say a man who do not hunt in Kazakhstan is like a man with no... Uh, oh, how do oh, you no, say? I, I, you say you're no bollocks, I suppose. Yes, bollocks. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. You have a big bollocks. <laughs> yes, probably. You have big bollocks. No, I don't think so. Not now. Can I touch them? No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, it's private. You are English policeman. I am, yes. V Hello. Hello. <laughs> Do you believe in the hunt or...? I've... I have to remain impartial with my yes. sir. Because you are English uh, policemen. That's right. And the cricket. greatest police in the force. <laughs> and they say everything's cricket in England, don't they? Well, we the, everything is cricket. Cricket. We have to be This fair. is uh, cricket. No, no, no. It's just a saying. <laughs> just a saying. The play... Cricket. Well... Yes, cricket. <laughs> cricket is, yes. uh, is a gentleman's sport. Yes. And everyone has the right to be gentlemen in England as such. And they play cricket today? No, 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 no. I'm confusing you now. Yes. I'm confusing you. Forget the cricket side of things. Yes. Sorry, that's just a saying. And people, they do protest against the cricket? Forget the cricket. The cricket yes. is purely a saying. Yes. Just a saying, yes? Yes, you just said cricket. Yeah, I just said cricket. Forget that. It doesn't matter. Okay. I... Nothing to do with hunting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so why did you say this? <laughs> Why do you like to hunt the fox? I do not hunt the fox. I think people that hunt the fox are the scum of the earth. In Kazakhstan. You kill bears. Yes, help them. He kills bears. You kill them. That's evil. No, in Kazakhstan we shoot the uh, animal. We do oh, not hunt the fox. Well, you should be talking to us because we love animals. And we that's love, why we're here. We love animals too. Why do you shoot them? Uh, for fun. <laughs> Kill folks. But you kill bears. There is no more bear in Kazakhstan. No, you kill them all. In Kazakhstan, we love animals. Good for you. We have most popular program on television is animal program. Good. It's called it dancing dog and cat. They dress uh, the dog like a family royal, like a Prince Elizabeth, yeah. one with a crown, and they dance but one. Do they treat that animal well? Yes, they treat very well. They give a food. And they only have the the uh, floor is a bit hot, so they jump. <laughs> it is great. We love in Kazakhstan to kill animals, <laughs> to hunt. It's so much fun. It is much fun. It is much fun. It is a great feeling when you kill an animal. It is. It is. It is. It it, uh, it makes you feel uh, like a real man. It does. It makes you feel big. We like to. Uh, Shoot a dog in Kazakhstan. You, you shoot dogs? Yes. Do you? Well, in England, we'd rather like dogs. So we, but we why don't... you like them? Here in Kazakhstan, they say this, they think it's crazy. Oh, Thank you very much. OK, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good journey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Having got to know Mo a bit, I is feeling his injustice and I is going to try and help him out now to get a British passport. 
Now, as far as I can see, your inability to rap is your main obstacle to getting a British passport. <laughs> so let's sort it out right here, right now. Me and you, Mo, is going to yep. be like a pair of rappers. Excellent. Like I is Snoop, you is Dr. Dre. I is Chuck D, you is Flavor Flav. I is the method man, you is the old dirty bastard. <laughs> you are the dirty bastard, not you. DJ, give me the beat. It comes the shopkeeper, Mohammed. It comes the shopkeeper, Mohammed. Him the libel case winner, Alpha. Him got the nice face. He got a big winky, I'll fight. Na 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 minky, I'll fight. He got the nice face. Now, Mohammed, cause yeah. we're good mates now. Next time I go into Arabs and I see something that I like, I got one question: Can I nick it? You can't nick it. Can I nick it? But for you, it's okay. Can I nick it? Yeah, it's okay. Good, yeah. cause I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,